My name is Robbie Walters. I'm an artist living and working in London. My studio is in Soho. I'm very lucky to have such an amazing space in such a fantastic location. It means that I enjoy my journey to work and always see inspiring things when I'm on my way in. I just started working on a new project, which is called I Project You, which means I think that we can't see each other. I think we can only see each other through the filters of our past. And we project our values. I think we project our insecurities. I think we project anything that we've experienced. We can't see outside of that. I have this view, if you have one person in the room, you have one person. If you have two people in the room, you have four people mentally. And what I mean by that is one person has a view of themselves, which is a different view of the other person, and then they have a view of the other person. And then that happens vice versa. So that ends up being four people in the room. If you have three people in the room, now you have nine people in the room, which I think is pretty crazy for such a small amount of people. And if you have four people in the room, you have 16. And if you have five, you have 25. So if you think, if you've got three people in the room, three people, you've got nine people. If you have two more people, you go from nine to 25. That blows my mind that we've all got these different views of each other and of ourselves. Now ask this question, are you who you think you are in the minds of others? I don't think we are. Do you want to know what other people think of you? Do you have the right version of yourself. I think that we can probably exceed our beliefs. I think we can exceed our potential. I think we can do a lot more than we're already doing. I think that fear and insecurity hold us back. And if you don't feel safe, I think it takes someone with a lot of confidence to push past the barrier of, can I, can I not do this internal voice? Because the internal voice, that keeps us back from so much more than what anyone else tells us we can and can't do, we're restricting ourselves. So this project that I'm working on at the moment, I project you, I'm really going outside of my comfort zone. One, I don't really paint. Two, I don't really paint portraits. I don't even think I can paint portraits. I'm not even entirely sure I'm any good with color, but I'm using really bright fluorescent blocky colors. They're quite bold pieces. I'm putting the show on myself, so I'm turning my studio into a gallery. So I'm going to be doing a whole heap of programs, and it's, again, I'm like, this is in three weeks' time. I haven't, I've almost not done any of the work. Now, it blows my mind where you can say, in my future, in my very near future, I'm going to do this, and it's going to be completely transforming my world. Now, when you say that, I get really nervous, but I'm also excited. And I love getting out of bed in the morning knowing that I'm both nervous and excited and pushing myself. Because when you're pushing yourself, you're at least closer to the best version 